so hi all today we are going to discuss about the line integration of a vector so before going to this let us see what is the application it is used to calculate the electric potential for a given electric field intensity this is in electrostatics or this can be used in magnetostatic for calculating the total current enclosed by a closed path for a given magnetic field intensity these are some of the applications of line integral we will see the details there but those basics are required whichever basics are required in multiple chapters so i am keeping in the chapter number one so now what is line integral the line integral of a vector is the integral of the dot product of the vector and the differential length vector tangential to a specified path this is the definition of this so what does this mean let us take this some path and try to understand this let us assume a vector is there that vector i am defining by f let us assume i want to do the integration and some specified path in this path let us assume the path is varying between a and b so what we have to do we have to take the dot product between this f and i have to take a differential length in the tangential direction of this path so let us assume this differential length i am defining by dl let us assume this is making an angle of theta with respect to f so now i can define where this f let us define this f is a vector and this path is from a to b a to b is a path so that i am defining by line integral will l indicates the path this f i have to do the dot product with dl the dl is a tangential at that point or this i can write as i am doing the integration between a to b because the dot product is nothing but you are projecting the f in the direction of dl this is the meaning of this we have already seen in the dot product so this i can write as magnitude of f into cos theta that is in the direction of l multiplied by dl dl only we are not a vector we are only defining the differential length so in this way i can calculate so in sometimes it can be a closed path so let us assume there is a vector which is directed like this so this is my vector f let us assume i have forming a closed path in this way so let us assume i have started from point number a i have reached some point number b then i have reached some point number c then coming to point number a so for that i have to take a differential length so let us assume this is my differential length vector so this is the direction of differential length vector let us assume it is making an angle of theta at this particular point so this is my path l so let us take this as path l so the work done or the total the work done in moving from point number a to b i can keep as a to b because let us assume f is a force the work done will be equal to f dot dl this we already know i am integrating from a to b this will be equal to that vector is f dot product with dl so every point you do the dot product so you will get the complete integration so this way you can get it let us assume if i am following the path the closed path so for the case of closed path this is for path a to b so this will come for the closed path this w will be represented by the closed integration of f dot dl that means if you want to start from point number a again a b c a that means closed path a b c a if you are traversing then i can write this w is equal to closed line integration of f dot dl so in some cases this closed line integration of f dot dl is equal to zero that means if closed line integral of any vector dot product with some the differential length is equal to zero this vector is called as conservative or lamellar vector this is called as conservative or lamellar vector so let us take one example so that this will be clear to you so i am taking one example find the line integral of a vector f which is given by x square minus y square in the x direction plus 2xy in the y direction around a square of side a which has a corner at origin one side on x axis and the other side on the y axis so this is what is given let us try to solve this so let me change the color so that it will be more visible to you so some vector is given it is also mentioned that it is we are taking the path of a square so it is that square is given in the three dimensional coordinates 
they have mentioned in the rectangular coordinate system so let us take this is in the rectangular coordinate system this is x y and this is z it is telling that one side is lying in the origin so in the origin let us take it as point number a 0 comma 0 comma 0 and it is also written which has a corner at origin one side on the x-axis and having each side is equal to a so you have to move by a distance a in the x direction so let us take this as point b only x direction is changed to a y and z is equal to 0 comma 0 so it is moved in this direction so after that it is written that remaining corners will come automatically so this will be the remaining corners of this so let us assume the path traverse is like this so this is another point c which i have moved x is already moved by a now y is moved by further a and 0 so this point will be let us take it as a d 0 comma a comma 0 x and z are 0 so let us assume i am following this path i will do the integration in this closed path so now i am just applying the path so in order to calculate the closed integration closed integration of this f dot dl so let us assume that vector name is f so this will be integration from a to b because i will move from point a to point b f dot dl because it will be the sum of the integration of these respective things b to c f dot dl and similarly from c to d f dot dl plus integration from d to a f dot dl so when you do all these integrations that resultant will give your final resultant value so let us try to calculate now i will calculate along ab if you are moving along ab you can see here y is equal to z is equal to 0 dy is equal to so automatically dz is equal to equal to 0 so what will be the differential length now differential length is only changing in the x direction so this will be dx in the direction of ax so let me just erase it so that it will be more clear so dx in the direction of ax this is my differential length so let us do the integration now so if you do the integration let me write the equation what the equation given there f is equal to x square minus y square so i am just writing it the function that is given is function is equal to x square minus y square in the direction of ax plus 2xy in the direction of ay so now let us do the integration so integration of integration i am doing from a to b this f dot dl so this will be equal to integration from so which direction we are moving we are moving in the x direction so i am moving from x is equal to 0 to a so y is equal to 0 z is equal to 0 just substitute in this equation if you substitute y is equal to 0 this becomes 0 if you substitute y is equal to 0 this also becomes 0 so only terms that are remaining will be this will be there x square in the ax direction this is there so plus dot product with dx in the x direction this is the differential length so do the integration so this integration becomes x is equal to 0 to a x square ax dot ax is equal to 1 this will be x square dx so if you substitute it and expand this will become a cube divided by 3 this is the first one we got so let us calculate along path bc so along path bc so we got that x is equal to a z is equal to 0 and y is what is the value of y because along this the y is the constant value y is equal to see x is fixed y is the variable like right? y is varying from 0 to a so dx because x is a constant dx will be equal to 0 similar way z is equal to 0 dz will be equal to 0 and differential length will be we are moving in the positive direction of y so that's why this will be dy in the direction of ay we are moving in the positive direction so the integration i can take from integration from b to c f dot dl so this will be y is equal to 0 to a so i am substituting the value of a x is equal to a that is fixed a square minus y square in the direction of ax plus two times of ay in the direction of ay so this i have to take the dot product with what is the variable now dy in the direction of ay so we know that ax dot ay will be equal to zero only ay dot ay will be equal to one so this integration becomes y is equal to zero to a so first component this component becomes zero so only second component will be there that will be two a y dy so if you substitute you will get this answer as a q similar is the case along c to d so when you are moving along c to d the y is fixed y is equal to a 
जेड इज फिक्स जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस डी वाई इज इक्वल टू डी जेड विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो एंड डिफरेंशियल लेंथ विल बी डी एक्स इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ ए एक्स दिस विल बी डी एक्स इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ ए एक्स वी आर मूविंग इन द एक्स डायरेक्शन गेटिंग इट सो नाउ आई कैन डू द इंटीग्रेशन इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम सी टू डी दिस विल बी एफ डॉट डी एल दिस विल बी इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए टू जीरो एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस ए स्क्वेयर डी एक्स दिस विल बी इक्वल टू एक्स क्यूब डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री माइनस ए स्क्वेयर इंटू एक्स दिस विल वेरी फ्रॉम ए टू जीरो दिस विल बी टू बाई थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ ए क्यूब सिमिलरली आई कैन कैलकुलेट एलॉन्ग डी टू ए डी टू ए एक्स इज इक्वल टू जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो डी एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू डी जेड विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो एंड डिफरेंशियल लेंथ विल बी डी वाई इन द वाई डायरेक्शन यू विल गेट डाउट वाई डिफरेंशियल लेंथ एक्चुअली इज मूविंग इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन टू वाई सो बिकॉज यू कैन सी हियर इट इज मूविंग अपोजिट डायरेक्शन टू वाई सो वाई शुड आई नॉट टेक नेगेटिव बिकॉज वाई डूइंग द इंटीग्रेशन इफ यू आर सब्सिट्यूट इन द इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम जीरो टू दिस पॉइंट देन यू कैन सब्सिट्यूट एज नेगेटिव बट यू आर डूइंग द इंटीग्रेशन इज सेम डायरेक्शन एज द एरो दैट इज वाई वी आर टेकिंग इट एज पॉजिटिव रिमेंबर दिस आई होप दिस यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन मैथमेटिक्स बिकॉज वाई आई एम स्ट्रेस बिकॉज सम ऑफ यू विल आस्क मी द डाउट why it came that's why i'm keeping here so that their confusion will not be there so integration i am doing from you can see i am doing from a to 0 so that's why i am taking the differential length as positive ay direction getting it so f i have to do the dot product with dy ay so in this equation of this equation you just substitute the value x is equal to 0 z is equal to 0 so in this equation substitute x is equal to 0 and substitute z is equal to 0 you are doing the dot product with y so when you are doing it that result automatically comes as zero this will be dy in the direction of ay dy in the direction of ay so this resultant will be equal to zero so this resultant will be equal to zero so that is the reason it came so we can tell that the total line integration or closed line integration of f dot dl this will be equal to a cube divided by 3 plus a cube plus 2 by 3 times of a cube is equal to 2 times of a to the power of 3 this what is there so one more numerical is there so i am just writing the numerical here the solution i have made in the material i have provided the link for the material in the link below you can download the material from there and you can cross verify whether you get the same answer or not so i am just writing the numerical here please try to solve it yourself so calculate the circulation of vector is given as r cos phi in the direction of ar Plus z sin phi in the direction of a z around the edge L of the wedge defined by zero less than or equal to r less than or equal to zero, zero less than or equal to phi less than or equal to sixty, and z is equal to zero. This is what is given. So for that wedge, you have to calculate this. So if you want to write the answer, so the answer overall answer you should get as equal to one. So this I have already provided in the material. Please check in the material. If you still have any query, you can please ask the doubt to me. I hope all these things are clear to you. If you still have any queries, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. I will answer to your queries from there. Thank you. Thank you very much.